And while families across the country are social distancing to save lives, parents of little ones might need a few ideas on how to conquer that quarantine cabin fever. So here to share her parent survival tips is mom of four and co-host of the podcast Mom Brain, Hilaria Baldwin. Hilaria, thanks for being with us. And um, just give me a sense of uh, what it's been like in your house over these past few weeks. Well, we definitely have our ups and our downs. Um, I mean, I, I think, I think actually my children are taking it better than my husband and me. <laughs> um, I'm, it's every kid's dream to be with their parents, at least the ages that I have. My oldest is six and my youngest is one. Um, so it's every kid's dream to be able to have their parents all the time. And so my kids are actually quite happy right now. You're very um, lucky. My, I have three I, teenagers in my house and it's, I'm not I having the same experience. <laughs> Yeah. Very different. So, and I mean, with little kids, they, they actually really, really like it. Um, of course, we get cooped up. We're lucky that we have a yard so we can go outside and I make them go outside even if the weather is bad, just because I'm like, this is survival and we will run around in the freezing rain and it's going to be okay. Um, and then in terms of, you know, the indoor activities that we've been doing, I've been making them do a lot of schoolwork. Um, even though, you know, when, when the Quarantine started, our kids were on spring break, but they're little and they don't know that. Um, so I was making them do activities every single day, mostly to start to teach myself how to homeschool them because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have lots of different workbooks. It's not really work from the school yet. That's coming soon. Um, but I've been doing a lot of workbooks with them and just kind of learning what they're capable of and not capable of, what I'm capable of and not capable of. Yeah, we all, we're all learning so much. I, I'm curious because your children are all under the age of six, right? And do they know what's going on? How have you explained coronavirus to them, if at all? So, I mean, we've, we've separated the, the fact that they need to know, um, such as you know, we're going to live differently. We're not going to have play dates. We're not going to be going to museums, and you're not going to be going to school. We're social distancing. Um, and we're doing that because that's how we're going to stay safe, and that's how we're going to keep other people safe as well. Um, that's hard for them, but they seem to continue to understand. Um, they know, and it's cute, they'll talk amongst each other about this coronavirus. Well, we're doing this because of the coronavirus, and they're very aware of germs <laughs> right now. Um, hopefully it's not going to end up being, you know, a germaphobe thing, but they seem to be okay for the, for the, the time being. And I know, you know, you were big on setting up a routine, setting up school at home. Even when they're younger, you can have some fun with that. I like how you say turn chores into games. Can you explain how you do that? <laughs> I mean, things before, I, the first, first, it's all about perspective. I, I have to realize we have all the time in the world right now to do absolutely anything. So things that I would find to be annoying, um, such as I was like plunging a toilet last night. Um, or, you know, my dog yesterday was like the day of poop. Our, our puppy, I don't know, ate something outside and had diarrhea in his cage. So I'm like, great, we are all going to clean this together and it's going to be really fun. <laughs> Laundry, cooking, you know, cleaning the floor, any of these things where, you know, adults were in such a hurry and we're like, all right, you know, I mean, especially when they're little, no, I'll do it because I'm going to do it faster because we have to do X, Y, and Z. We have to get out the door. We have to go to work. We have to go to school, activities, whatever it is. I'm realizing now that there's no place to go. So we can all treat each other a little bit better, relax a little bit more, and create everything into a game. So I love that. Uh, yeah. We put a song to it. And you know what? Kids follow their parents' leads, and you are certainly doing a great yeah. job of that. Hilaria, thank you so much for joining us. Stay well and uh, send our love to your family. Oh, thank you. Take care. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.